Hey folks, what's going on? It's your boy BQ here. It's about 6 a.m. where I am getting ready for work for the day, so I'm going to make this really quick. But some reports are kind of surfacing that Impact Wrestling is officially moving to Canada. Now, we know that they are consolidating the offices with Canada and Nashville. Where that consolidation will take place exactly, I would imagine, is Canada. The report that came out didn't really specify. It almost looked like you know Nashville was a, a potentially a, an option as well. But uh, there was a video that came out, and uh, I believe it came out on Twitter, where Jeremy Borash had let the audience know this would be not be their last time in Ottawa. Now, a few websites have kind of run with that, saying well, the company has officially moved. I haven't been able to find anything like that right now to confirm that. I, would, I think it's a probably a pretty safe bet. We're probably going to see some more releases, or you know, some more people not signed, uh, not re-signed, or people being granted their releases, and that just kind of comes with the territory. Using the Canadian workers gives them some tax tax breaks, and I think even I would imagine even the whole paying extras thing um, that you know in Canada, being that they're employees as extras there's probably tax breaks that happen with that too it's just of course that the dirt sheets are going to take that and run with it and make it something that it's not i've been doing my best to try to confirm what's going on with that paid audience thing to get you know the exact reason for it not quite happening so maybe on the next teleconference if josh is on again uh, adam will be able to ask him you know for if, if we're comfortable asking him that exactly but it's you know it's kind of looking like hey maybe they're going to be a canadian based company and that's okay you know, to show up to the impact zone maybe once a year or something like that, I think that's a good thing. There was a time that I went to the impact zone and it was right after the UK tour. It was right after Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. The place was packed in there. It was really hot, um, really hot crowd. And, you know, because people were saying, we don't know when they're going to come back here. We didn't know they were going to be there every single taping after that. And then you kind of saw what, what happened over time. So... I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they still want to try to do the New Yorks, the Chicago's, um, you know, in the impact zone here and there. I think that's very possible. You know, I, I think, you know, North Carolina, uh, Nashville, I think those are all still good spots. But I think to be based out of Canada is going to be a good thing. We're going to see a larger crowd every time. You know, it's not going to be the Bound for Glory crowd, but we're going to we're going to see larger crowds and we're going to see a lot of new talent. This is not going to be the TNA company that we've grown to love, you know, and, and uh, I kind of came to that realization yesterday when, you know, I was like, man, Spud's gone, um, Bram is gone, and sometimes on the um, the Impact Fan Zone on Facebook, which is the number one uh, place for Impact fans on Facebook, um, you know, sometimes they'll post, hey, a year ago, and they'll show a, an image, and, you know, it, it showed not too long ago Eric Young versus Bram, and it, that's when I got to thinking, I was like, man, I, I actually probably, you know, a year ago liked the roster better. You know, I probably liked the product a little better better a year ago. But they were in a bad position. Uh, you know, the, the, the money wasn't coming in. You know, Dixie was mismanaging. And I'm not saying the current management isn't mismanaging in one way, shape, or form. That's not what I'm saying at all, because obviously that's the case a little bit as well. But at least wrestlers getting paid on time. And we're, we are starting to see some bigger names come aboard and I don't think it's a bad thing to really tap into the Canadian talent because that's that's the one one of the markets out there with um, Australia and a couple others that are still a little bit untapped in my opinion you know the UK obviously is is really hot right now and now the hot thing is to sign a bunch of UK guys and the funny thing was you remember when TNA was signing guys from the UK and there's fans like stop signing people from the UK st sign people in the US and you know now see look what's going on and everything so we're gonna stand by for you know the actual confirmation i would be perfectly okay if they did this because you know it's we just we just got to face it the company needs you know uh new creative ways to uh bring in revenue i really like the whole after party that they do with the impact pizza and the atomic drop and everything um, i've heard that's been pretty successful so far so you know, we're going to see what happens. We're going to keep our ear to the streets going forward. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to subscribe here to the channel. This is the Impact Lounge. I'm your boy BQ. Thank you. Peace.